Hey guys, Adam here in the AeroWorks Workshop, and it's been kind of a crazy two weeks. Almost feel like I haven't got a lot done, but believe me or not, we have been getting progress here on our Super Duty build. Today I want to go over and cover how we got our rudder pedals and brake cylinders installed in the Ford fuselage. So come along, let's get these things knocked out, and let's make some progress on the Super Duty build. Well, the first step was to center punch the metal hinges that are going to support the rudder pedals and this was done simply using a standard center punch got some holes prepped there then i took it over to the drill press unfortunately there never seems to be the right spot to put the camera on the drill press but i assure you i was drilling holes here here you can see the finished holes drilled i then took out my dremel tool and took off the burrs from the inside of the hinges I want to make sure they're nice and smooth so that they have a nice solid uh, mating surface to go against the tube rudder pedals. Then it was on to uh, getting ready to paint these. So I just brought out my Dremel tool with the scotch Bright pad on it, scuffed them up and uh, got ready to prime. Then we just simply used our self etching primer and shot a nice coat or two of primer on these. And then we proceeded on to paint them after the primer dried. Again, here we're using the, uh, the gray interior color that we'll be using. All right, I wanted to show you this Ford uh, cabin here. I've got this all prepped. I figure while I've got the rudder pedals out, getting drilled, prepped, primed, painted, and all that good stuff, this would probably be a good time to go ahead and paint this floorboard area, the cabin color that I'll be painting it, uh, because this will be a little bit difficult to get into later so uh, this was a good time to get everything prepped, primed, and painted. And we'll jump ahead here in just a second to uh, when it's all done. All right, and we've got the self-etching primer on here. On to step two, paint. And here is the painted firewall floorboard area. So hopefully the idea here is some of these areas that will be more difficult to get to later can now have a jump start on painting. So again, this is the uh, gray color that the interior is going to be painted. We'll get our rudder pedals installed, our brakes installed, and then we'll get our firewall installed, which is also already painted. Here we're drilling out the actual rudder tubes themselves using the rudder pedals as templates. After I drill a hole, I just simply put a Clico in to tighten it up, keep it nice and tight. This was fairly easy to drill because this metal is not super thick and it's fairly soft. So again, I would just drill a hole, put a Clico in, drill a hole, put a Clico in and repeat, and just did this for both sides. You're gonna see a little boo-boo that I made here later uh, when I uh, install the rudder pedals. I'm gonna call it out, but uh, See if you can catch it here, just a second. Okay, we've got our completed rudder pedals. Everything's been painted. We've riveted the pedals on. And here's that booboo I was talking about. For some reason, when I had them on the bench, I started drilling the passenger side pedals. Hey, advanced holes for a future rudder pedal installation. Here I'm tightening down the three uh, bolts and nuts that go through the fuselage floor to hold the rudder pedals down. I'm using a torque driver here. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a future video, but essentially this is a screwdriver with a built-in torque wrench built into it. It comes in handy for all these AN bolts that are fairly small and easy to do by hand. Simply got them all torqued down and uh, we'll go ahead and put some marking material on those once we have everything completed and these three bolts are complete. Well, it was time for final assembly. So we got the cylinders out. We got the appropriate hardware out. I did end up shortening two of the bolts. Uh, they seem to be a little bit longer. Again, you want to keep that thread count in mind when you're talking about how many threads stick out from your nut. So just make sure when you're putting in hardware and you put a washer on that you don't have too little or too much bolt sticking out of that nut. Uh, you can always adjust those as needed. Uh, the bottom ones are pretty much a final assembly. The top ones for right now, I'm just putting them on so I can get everything fit up. We'll obviously have to adjust those. And you can see there's a nut uh, on the uh, cylinder plunger that will allow you to extend those shafts up or down 
to adjust that rudder pedal to just the right angle. So right now I'm just putting the nut and bolt and washer on so that we can uh, get everything tightened down and uh, all the pieces and parts in place and then we'll move on from here. So just a final tighten up here again uh, just to snug these up no need to get anything crazily torqued down but everything was snugged up nice and uh, you'll kind of learn over, over time how tight an AN bolt needs to be. All right guys well I hope you found this video useful maybe give you some tips and tricks uh, give you an idea kind of how these rudder pedals go together and how you assemble the brakes onto them. Uh, in a future video, we'll of course be covering all the cabling and the hoses for the hydraulics on the brakes, as well as getting this firewall installed and slowly working our way back. Uh, we should have our gear parts back here probably next week, and we'll have this fuselage sitting on the gear and we'll really be knocking out some progress. So again, guys, I wanna say thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Please make sure you like and subscribe. The subscribing really helps us out. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.